Hey guys, it's Celia and I'm back with another video. So today I'll be reviewing this Revlon One Step Hair Dryer. I've been seeing a lot of people use this for quite a bit. Um, it's supposed to pretty much reduce frizz, detangle, and dry your hair really quick. So the settings that are on this are just cool, low, and high. So this was the perfect time to use this brush um, because I ended up doing a stretched Bantu knot out. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll put it down below. Um, I did use the Texture ID Leave-In Conditioner to soften and moisturize my hair before I used the brush. But again, you can use whatever you want, heat protectant and oil, it's all up to you. So once I did that, my hair was soft and yeah, let's just get into this review. So I started off by blow drying my hair on the low heat. I honestly don't even know why. Um, but what I really liked about this brush is the fact that the paddle brush can get through my hair. Um, I've never used a paddle brush before. I always thought it would just tangle my hair and not really help. But I do definitely feel like this brush would help for all curl types. Um, if you have thinner hair kinkier hair, coarser, whatever, um, I think you would definitely be able to get your hair through with this brush. So detangling was very easy. Um, as you can see, using the low heat, it didn't really stretch my hair as much as I would like. Um, it was stretched. Some people might like their hair just stretched like this, but I wanted my hair a bit more elongated, um, so I went ahead and used the high heat. Now, when I did change the setting to high, it was very high. Um, it gets really hot, um, especially from coming from low, which was like really low, and then having high be really high. You would think they would put like a medium um, in between. Um, I personally feel like they should, but I didn't really mind the high heat. Now, um, I didn't have to do too many passes to get my hair straight. I did figure out that um, if I just went through my hair nice and slowly, it got straighter so much faster than trying to just keep, you know, putting the brush through my hair over and over. So just a tip if you don't want to have to, you know, keep doing that. But you'll see in just a second, my hair got so freaking straight just from a blow dryer now that can be a pro or a con depending on how you like to stretch your hair i know some people they might think it's too hot if your hair is getting too straight i personally liked it because you know i don't really straighten my hair so i don't know i liked it My hair has never been this straight from below drying it. Be drying me. My mom, I love her. You do? So I went ahead and just did that all around my hair, obviously. Um, instead of using the low and then the high, I just went straight to the high because like I said, the low doesn't really do much for me. Um, and yeah, 
once I was done, you can see my hair just looks so freaking good. Like I said, I have never done a blowout and my hair has gotten this straight. So I definitely like this brush. Um, it didn't take me as long as it usually does either when I do the, what do I do? I do the tension method. I usually just pull my hair and then, you know, blow the blow dryer along it, but I don't know. I like this brush. It was $34.99. I did order it online, I think off of Google, but um, it's at Walmart. It should be at Target. I'll put a link down below, but I definitely loved this brush. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys have tried this brush before. Um, if you liked it, if you have, if you don't like it, because I know some people returned it and said they did not like it. So let me know down below. And stay tuned for a length check video. I did do one and I'll be giving you guys some tips on hair growth and things like that. So definitely like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.